Staff Sergeant Sean Durkee. I'm the current Operations Chief here on the pool deck aboard Marine Corps Crew Depot Paris Island. So a lot of the recruits typically come here with the fear of the water, fear of the unknown pretty much is how I like to put it. So to kind of get the shock and all out of the way, we, we pull the recruits here on their first appointment on the Tuesday and kind of just basically get them in the water in the shallows, probably about three and a half feet of water and just do a quick 25 meter swim just from one side of the pool to the other just to build their confidence in the actual water. So a lot of them, they haven't been in a big body of water like this before. So most of them haven't even swam in like a county pool or anything like that. So this is the first time entering the water. Kind of break the barrier right there. So it's a requirement because we as Marines are amphibious by nature and we're deployed on MUSE throughout the year. It's obviously good for us to know how to swim if a situation were to arise where you had to abandon ship is the example I like to use all the time. You have confidence in your gear, gear being your camis that the recruits wear, being able to float with that gear and just having the confidence to be able to swim in the water. So amphibious by nature, we're constantly deployed on ships. So I definitely say by land, obviously ship to shore movement. The guys who are going to be on the AAVs, the amphibious vehicles, they're obviously going to need to do that because sometimes they're not going to be able to bring the vehicles directly on shore. They're going to have to tread water, probably like in the depth I'm in now. So just have that confidence to have a combat load on and be able to maneuver through the water from ship to shore movement.